At Christmas time, Mexican cities light up dazzling displays of vivid color in light and form. As annual tradition in the central Mexican city of Querétaro, Cinea Park in the historic center puts on festive, life-sized dioramas of scenes celebrating the occasion. From children's playtime to biblical scenes, indigenous Otomi styles and sacred narrative events decorate all four quadrants of the park. They include piñata parties, the Garden of Eden, and the nativity now in view. However, the part of the park I always get most excited to see has the devils, life-size figures of the fallen, dwelling among billowing fumaroles and crawling beasts in the infernal pit. In recent years, the old monsters of Christmas lore, many of them child-eating fiends, have started gaining new presence in popular culture. Iceland's Grula Witch, Germany's Krampus Monster, and Greece's Kalikansadoi Goblins. But Mexico has the devil himself. According to the legend of the pastoral, while the shepherds were on their way to Bethlehem to witness the divine birth, devils appeared on the path to try to dissuade them from their sacred goal. I saw a similarly spectacular setup in Morelia, the capital of the West Mexican state Michoacán. Dismembered, hacked mannequins of damned souls accompanied the crimson villains in this fiery assemblage. The devil's presence at Christmas time is a given in popular Mexican culture. He is in fact the antagonist in the Mexican-produced Santa Claus classic, which follows the pastoral tale's moral of resisting the devil's urges to stray from the path of goodness. The movie sees his minion try to corrupt children to get on Santa's naughty list, the gateway to a more evil life course. The devil has belonged to Christmas lore since medieval Europe, with a church promoted morality plays to teach its followers virtue. The Spanish church had brought such dramatic performance to the New World to try to teach their native converts. Yet in the more remote areas with limited religious instruction, the local communities adopted these plays into already existing ritual practice. The Christian personages made mythical. These syncretic beliefs, combining native and Christian spirituality, are subjects for other videos. My carnival playlist expands on the devil in Sierra Otomi myth. Drawing from both European plays and indigenous ritual, the pastoral pageantry identifies its caste with masks, traditionally carved from wood and accentuated with hair and horn. This entire room in the Rafael Coronel Museum in Zacatecas features pastoral masks such as devils and shepherds. Few media are as open to native Mexican creativity as the mask, and devils are among its most exuberant subjects, bringing us to today's mask. Today's mask comes from the National Mask Museum in San Luis Potosí, Mexico. Although its label locates the mask from the state of Michoacán, its color scheme specifies the town of Tocuaro toward the state's north end. Pioneered by local artist Felipe Huerta, the Tocuaro style specializes in devil faces draped in a dark solid color and then contrasted with bright tones. The light horizontal grooves across the brow are also distincted to the Tocuaro style. They combine into a visage of menacing yet beautiful ferocity for pastoral dances among the native Purjepecha from this region. With aesthetic force, it reminds the community that walking the correct path is the ultimate purpose of Christmas. Please like, share, and subscribe to the Eye of the Serpent channel for updates. Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, and Good Roads!